Yes, you've read that right. There is a free training at the moment for the Google Cloud Digital Leader Certification. In this video, I'll explain to you how you can study and pass um, the exam to become a Google Cloud Digital Leader Certified Professional. Uh, I'll also explain to you in this video why am I recommending Google Cloud Certification, why not Amazon AWS or Microsoft Azure. So why Google Cloud? Why are we trying to do Google Cloud Certification? This is a very good question because I'll explain to you in the world of cloud computing, Amazon AWS AWS is the biggest cloud computing provider. There are just simply more clients and more individuals and more organizations using Amazon AWS versus any other cloud platform. The second most used cloud platform is the Microsoft Azure platform. The third one is Google Cloud. Now, do not underestimate Google Cloud just because they are the third most used cloud platform. That doesn't mean they are small. They are really, really huge. I know so many banks that make use of the Google Cloud platform. They have a good Google Analytics cloud platform as well. Well, so there are certain usages for the cloud. Not only that, when I say they are smaller than AWS, that doesn't mean they are small. They are in so many places that you wouldn't expect. But then again, why am I recommending Google Cloud Certification versus AWS or Microsoft Azure? The way I want you to think about it is not Google Cloud versus Amazon AWS. I want you to think Google Cloud and Amazon AWS, Google Cloud and Microsoft Azure. You see, the goal that I have for you in mind is for you to become cloud expert. I want you to become a vendor neutral cloud architect, vendor neutral cloud expert. And the only way you can achieve that is if you are across not all, but most of the major cloud platform service providers. So for example, if you're a really good Amazon AWS cloud provider and you go and work for a big bank, whilst your skills are needed, but you'll find that a lot of organizations, especially the bigger ones, they tend to have more than one platform. So they may have their data in Amazon AWS, but they may use Microsoft Office 360. They may also use some services from the Google Cloud and even Adobe Cloud. I've seen recently some people use Adobe Cloud Marketo platform. So being a cloud architect or even a cloud security architect, which is my favorite place to be because it's really in demand and there are very few individuals who have that type of experience. And the way to achieve that is to get really good at one cloud platform. For example, you pick Amazon AWS. But once you do that, I want you to also study a little bit of Microsoft Azure, a little bit of Google Cloud. And once you do that, you'll find that all of these cloud platforms are very similar. So the knowledge you gain in Amazon AWS is transferable to Microsoft Azure is also transferable to the Google Cloud Platform and vice versa. Now onto the Google Cloud Digital Leader Cloud Certification. The free course is actually offered by Coursera. There is a link for that course in the description box below. But if we have a quick look at that platform, you can see in Coursera, looking at the so training, um, it's divided into four modules. And Coursera suggests that you take one month to finish that training course. So each module will take one week. That's what they suggest. I do have a friend who finished the entire thing in one week and passed the exam. He is the exception, not the norm, but I'm just telling you it's possible if you just put your head down and study, you can actually finish this entire certification in two weeks. Um, so what I want you to do is go through that free course from Coursera, go through all the modules, make sure you're comfortable. And once you finish that, my friend who passed the exam, he recommended that certification practice question and answer. It's from Udemy. I also put that link in the description below. I think that uh, practice test is about 27 bucks so really cheap stuff so you go there you practice and if you find you're having difficulties with the practice question you can go back to the free course on Coursera you can do it as many times as you like once you're confident you can sign up and do the exam and from what I heard the exam is not really difficult so they're not trying to trick you and um, they want you to pass the exam Google is really pushing hard for people to be familiar with their platform to have easy time using it there is no point for Google to develop all these nice technologies if no one knows how to use it so they have a vested interest interest in you learning the platform so that when your employer decide to bring Google Cloud, um, you're already ready and you can use it. Um, the jobs that you can get with that, I personally know uh, a few companies that are struggling to find people with Google Cloud expertise. Now, there is less jobs for specific Google Cloud than let's say uh, um, Microsoft Azure or Amazon AWS, but these niches still exist. I remember when I was first starting my career, I started my career with Unix, hence the name Unix guy. Uh, and the reason for that is first, I loved Unix, but also there is so much opportunity. Um, everyone knew how to use Microsoft Windows. Everyone wanted to work on Microsoft servers, but there was very few people who knew Unix because Unix was hard. It was challenging to learn at the time. I'm talking 20 years ago, so it's been a while now. Things have changed. But I remember at the time, if you knew Unix, people really sought you after and you were someone that um, people, individuals paid a lot of money 
for you to come work for them and the work was a bit hard because people were just afraid of touching Unix servers. So Google Cloud might be might be your Unix. Uh, it might be your niche. You can specialize in this and you can have that knowledge and that can set you apart and hopefully get you that career that you're after. And there are consulting roles for cloud professionals. There are working from home opportunities and even for cyber security. We love people with cloud expertise because all the data at the moment lives in the cloud, almost all of it. And, and if you understand the cloud very well, um, if you can secure the cloud, then you'll be a very highly sought after professional. I know the highest salaries that I've seen in the market are for cloud security architects. And it's a very difficult thing to specialize in because you need to know cloud very well. You also need to know data very well. You need to know cyber security very well. So it's a mix of things. And the way to start it is by doing um, certifications like this. Um, going through that process, uh, getting that Google certification, it will not make you an expert, but I'd rather someone spend their time doing this, getting familiar with it. And maybe after you finish this, maybe go and do a Microsoft Azure certification or an Amazon AWS certification. By the time you finish those certifications, you will find that you are someone who have gained a lot of knowledge in cloud. Things will start making more sense. They'll be less difficult. And you never know, you might get the opportunities of your dream. If you're looking for specific cybersecurity certification, I recommend you watch this video where I talk about the most uh, in-demand cybersecurity certifications.